All right, so it's Friday, uh, the August the uh, 18th, I believe, and uh, I've already been asked a couple of times about how's the compression on the engine and what mechanical things are there, so I thought I would just uh, come and add some video um, uh, to this to let everybody see it. I've already pulled the spark plugs out on the car. You can see that it has the actual, the NGK um, BPR6 ES plugs it should. If you notice that they're just a hair between the dark brown and the light black, that's a little bit rich, which is how I like to run my cars. I, I always want them to run a little rich and not, uh, so I have never a chance of lean detonation in them whatsoever, but uh, all four plugs are here, and you can see that they all have, uh, if you can get this on the camera, they all have the same burn rate. And then if you uh, come over with me, you can uh, see that we already have the compression gauge hooked up to uh, cylinder number one. And I'm going to uh, run compression on all four of these cylinders for you. This is cylinder one. Uh, cold engine has not been started. So we have 100 and right at 118 pounds of pressure in cylinder one. Let me get it unhooked and into the next cylinder and we'll run those as well. All right, I'm uh, plugged into uh, cylinder number one. I'm going to crank it over and uh, find out what kind of compression we have. Have 105, 107 pounds compression cold in cylinder one. Compression check on cylinder number two. It's uh, 110 pounds of uh, compression cylinder Down number three. two. Again, we're at 110, about 110 pounds of pressure in that number cylinder. Four. Once again, we're 100, 110 pounds of compression in that cylinder as well. Those of you who are old timers, I'll uh, use my 1950s Allstate compression gauge just for giggles to see what kind of compression it reads. I'm just going to stick it in number three for the sake of uh, doing this. Woo! Well, maybe I should have done that. That reads 120 pounds. Of course, it's a little less glamorous, but a whole lot more fun to read compression that All right, way. So, uh, as long as we're going through engine and stuff like that. Um, the uh, MGT series was the first, uh, the TF rather, was the first of the T iteration to use a pressurized radiator system. Uh, this is not the radiator, it's just the sod. While we have it out, we'll uh, check the coolant as well. Pulling the coolant and the coolant is good to two, let's see, the negative 45, which would then be a boiling point of 265 degrees. So, uh, coolant is plenty serviceable for the vehicle as well. So I'll do one more um, test for you here on the vehicle as long as we're playing today. Let me start it up. And uh, we're gonna let it run for a couple minutes. This is a cold start. I'm gonna let the car run for five minutes and we'll shoot some temperature readings on it for you. One more set of heat tests on it just so you can um, see temperature differentiation. The car's been idling, uh, uh, static, in an enclosed environment, high humidity for about five minutes. I'm starting to smell like gasoline fumes, but uh, let me shoot some temperatures for you. Uh, on the between the number three and four cylinder on the water board, about 160 degrees. Between the one and two, one and two cylinder on the water point is 159 degrees. Spark plug, oops. Spark plug number one, 147. Spark plug number two, 147. Spark plug number three, 148. Spark plug, spark plug number four, 151. You get that heat differentiation because the exhaust pipe is moving backwards on the car, uh, going from the front cylinder to the back, and it's sitting here idling. So it's 
warming up the back cylinders faster. Uh, regardless, uh, very consistent numbers on the car. Uh, 